We got soup and beans and a bowl of greens. Got chef to win, cook it till it's steam. Got home cooked cats for the fan of rivals. Can't forget her, tell her better like thumbs up. You might win some luck, don't eat so much. We got soup and beans, then the dishes clean. She'll advise you, don't despise you. She'll entice you, what's your frying? She'll advise you, what's your creation? I am going to do the Mexican salsa i want to show you guys how i make my popcorn yes so um a lot of people which i have an air popper as well but a lot of people use the air popper a lot of people do it on top of the stove and i'm going to show you guys how i do it on top of the stove. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get set up. This was a last minute video. So you want to make sure that you don't want to set, you want to make sure you have enough oil. Let me turn this down some. You want to make sure you have enough oil. Make sure it's hot. So you don't want to, you don't have too much oil because you don't want to grease it. And you can put, you can put butter or you can use oil. I'm using oil. And you can melt you some butter. I'm gonna get my bowl here. So when it start popping, it'll be ready. Okay. So I'm going to melt me some butter. I got my bowl right here. And I'm going to melt me some butter. So I'm going to turn my thing this way. So you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to turn on some light. There we go. Let there be light. So I'm going to melt me. Just a little butter to drizzle. Over. My, so probably like this is about a half a stick it, it depends on how much butter you want and how butter you want your, your popcorn and so I don't have to over season it I'm going to add to that some butter to that some seasoning salt because yes, I put seasoning salt on mine y'all so you could use regular salt I have some um, Parmesan garlic, garlic Parmesan. This is for popcorn, y'all. So it's been in here for a while. I don't even know if it's gonna come out that much. I'll take a spoon and see if I can get some of it out. And they have all kinds of seasoning, but some of the seasoning, I don't know, y'all. Okay, there we go. I got some of it to come out. Okay, so then we're going to melt this. You look it for probably a second. Take this out. And this is just how I make my popcorn, y'all. I'll have y'all way of making it. This is how I'm going to do mine. So I'm just going to put on 30 seconds. And we are just going to give that a quick stir. And we give it a quick stir. Now, you want to make sure that you have your two uh, oven mitts. I'm going to turn it around the other way so you guys can see. Smell that popcorn. Okay. Alright, so you can see. I'm going to take my, my butter out. Let's see. Okay. So all I have to do is like really stir this. So this is how it came out. And you just stir the seasoning in it. Okay, it's starting to pop. So this is how my mom taught me how to do it. This is old school way. 
shake it. Just like it's being shaped in the air pumper. So when your butter comes out, it looks like that. So it's gonna look like what they serve at the hand. I'm just gonna pour it over my pour it over my popcorn. So and you don't need a whole 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 lot. Okay. So you don't want to do like a cup, probably a cup of popcorn. This is about a cup of popcorn. And you just want to continue to shake it. Now, um, you can spice it up with putting some spices on it. If you want a spicy popcorn, like uh, some cayenne pepper, which that's not going to be me because, you know, I don't do cayenne pepper. Um, you can make it sweet. You can add some nuts, some caramel in there. Make it some caramel popcorn. And you just want to keep shaking it because you don't want it to burn. It's nothing like burnt popcorn. All right, now, so I will show you the I am back, so my popcorn is ready. I tried to make sure that it was finished popping before I take off the top because the top keeps all the pressure in. Mm. And so, you just want to pour your popcorn into your bowl. Try to not make this as messy as I can. I'm going to take your hand and kind of guide it into the bowl. And this is a lot of popcorn. I don't know if I'm going to feel, but I just had a taste for some popcorn, and i never done a video on it. So, it's, like I said, there's many ways you can take the popcorn to the next level. You can make popcorn balls with syrup and peanuts. You can make popcorn bars. There's all kinds of ways to spruce up your popcorn. And like I said, if you want it spicy, you can do that as well. I'm not going to pour all that popcorn because that's a lot of popcorn. Okay, so now I'm just going to drizzle my butter mixture. This is number butter and garlic parmesan uh, cheese. Like I said, you can do your popcorn however you want. I'm just going to get this a quick toss. I just mix my salt and everything in it all at once because it's just so much easier that way. And then it helps you from over salting your popcorn. Because I, I don't know about you, but I don't care for real salty popcorn. I mean, Sometimes at the movie theater, they can tend to salt the popcorn too heavy. So now we're just going to get it. Mmm. 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 Y'all. Mmm. You hear that crunch? Mmm. 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 I taste the butter. I taste the salt. I taste the garlic parmesan. This recipe, I know it's popcorn, but hey, everybody got their different recipes. But this recipe will be in my description box. Um, if you want to see more recipes, I think I would do the one with some um, um, caramel on it. Caramel, because it's about to be fall season. So, hey, we got all that comfort food coming up, y'all. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please like, please share this channel, this uh, video. Who knows? Somebody might not know how to make popcorn. All these gadgets has gotten us kind of lax. So I went old school on y'all. Old school pop popcorn. All right now. Till next time from Joanne Sweet and Say Creations. Bye bye.